Welcome back, fans, to the brand new Morton Arena located here in Newport, Tennessee. As you may notice, I am not Bobby Lee. Because of the ongoing contract dispute between EC Dangerously and the SOM back office, <coughs> for now, while we are working this out, I will be taking over ring announcer duties for the immediate future. But that means back on commentary is Prince Malik yeah, and Bobby baby. Lee. Yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up, y'all. Whoo. So, once again, welcome. We're back. We're stronger than ever, and all eyes are on us. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce at this time the winner of last week's Fright Night Battle Royal, Sam Street! Sam Street, here she comes, the winner of that Battle Royal from last week. Welcome back, Malia. Wow, yes, that's what right, Bobby Lee. On? Well, you know what's going on. Of course, wait, a lot of stuff going on in the ring, and he's got some Oh, stuff. wow, I it tell you, like Sam, Twilight, welcome, though. welcome back. The, what do you think of the new arena? Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Isn't it great? Isn't it great? It's great. It's, it really is. A lot of work went into here, and we're so proud to be here in Newport. But I got a question. After winning that amazing battle royal, full of men, I might add, you won. Mm -hmm. So that gives you the right to choose any championship that you'd like to challenge for. Have you figured out which title that's going to be? Well, I... Well. Oh. Whoa, whoa, yeah, whoa! Yeah. Oh, boy. Let's let this tell its story here. Bronson Garrett, as your posse enters the ring, what's what, what's the deal with interrupting? I mean, come on. What's the deal with interrupting? Well, for you idiots that weren't here last week, you were, and so was your friend that looks like Bobby Eaton's meth head sister. Hey, wait a minute. I know somebody who resembles that comment. What's standing in front of you is Bronson Garrett Enterprises. Okay. All right. I, I love it. put oh, together right. a collection of the best damn athletes in the wrestling business today. Hell yeah. I've got the heavenly dragon, Javen Myra. On, I've got the master of the guillotine, Devon Belcher. You know this guy. Devon Come on, D1 Belcher. athlete Both right here. Come on. And I've got incredible. the baddest chick in the wrestling business, true. Dora true. Conley. True, true, true. Man. And no, we, I don't we, know huh? what you think winning a battle royal was going to get you toots. But I have somebody standing here with me that actually took the NWA JCP Women's Champion to the limit. Right. Yeah, I did. Oh. So if anybody okay. here is entitled to saying what they want and what they deserve, it should be me, Dara O'Conley. Oh, wait, I want now. Took her to the limit, but we need to get some winning. officials in here to kind of break this up before it gets down to. Let's let cooler heads prevail here. I mean, we, we haven't even started the show yet. Let uh, Bronson stand in the middle of that one. Bronson Garrett Enterprises is real athletes, Sam Street. You know we don't that. deal with gutter trash like yourself. Ooh, ah, ta -ta. Mm. Now, you want to go around and call yourself the keeper? You're going to be lucky if I allow Dara to let you keep your arms and legs by the time she's done with you. Well, okay, okay. Look, I don't look, leave her too much. I've, right. I've heard enough. I appreciate your thoughts. Who, who but, are you? Who but, are you? I'm the general manager of Revolution, and I That's have true. a solution. You know what? 
General manager, Scotty B, you're out here in a t-shirt and blue jeans. That's not very general manager-like. I tell you what is general manager-like. Tonight's main event, the keeper, Sam Street, one-on-one -on -one with Darlo Conley. Ooh. And then we'll see what's going to happen. Well, this is yourself into that one. Oh, it's Roger happening. Garrett. Well, I can tell you, it's first, official. we know that this is Scott's show. When well, we knew that that wasn't going to fly, we both knew that. I mean... We both knew that. And that you know wasn't Bronson more than anybody right now, don't you? And his lawyer. <laughs> yes, yes, I do. Uh, unfortunately, I have to hand him the mic any time that he asks, uh, due to an ongoing lawsuit. But uh, yeah, I heard you had arbitration last week. What was up with that, Bob? Uh, yes, didn't go so well. So. Uh, well, hey, you're here. I'm here. We're here. Uh, it's just oh, he's still going. Kiss the title shot. Goodbye. I don't know if you Bronson, can say say that word. Not anymore. Saying that. Uh, Toots, I think that word was saying, banned. Saying to kiss that shot goodbye. Huh. Oh, wow. All right. I it, think it, in the book of banned words, I think Toots was put in there in like 2017. I haven't heard that you in know, a while. It's a movie, though, with Dustin Hoffman. Get over it, folks. Don't be mad at me, but, uh, you know, I am kind of skeptical about being here. Well, I know. I know. A lot of stuff has happened. A yeah. lot of stuff has happened. Well, we'll Bobby. come back to that here in just a few minutes. We'll see you in a moment, folks. Yeah, what was up? Now, we were at the Chucky Dome, but we are no longer at the Chucky Dome. We are at the School of Morton Sportatorium. The new Portatorium. The new Portatorium. What do you think of that? The new Portatorium. Well, all eyes are on us. And all eyes what are on us. What a great way to start. And Gaston. You talked to this cat before the show. Tell us about it. Brother yes. Bob. Gaston is another book carrier, so, uh, huh. but he carries a song book. A hymnal? Yeah. Okay. So, he sings, he's got the, did he come from the pirate place out there in Pigeon Forge? Uh, no. That's more, another group uh, of people? More from Disneyland, I Did think. Okay, well, this is School of Mortal The Mozart here. of professional wrestling. The Mozart right. of professional wrestling. Okay, I like it, I like well, it. He's got a tall order tonight, Malik, because this guy, I've been standing and watching him from the sidelines when I've opened ring announcing and being in the ring with him a couple of times since I've announced him. And this guy is massive. Well, hey, chip on his shoulder. I, I understand this. I mean, you know, GM and I get to see a lot of the prospects before they even get to be seen here on the television screens. And this, this was one that true. we've really kind of been up. Uh, Let's Ladies just say, and gentlemen, uh, Logan Ragnarok. This guy is amazing. Well, he wouldn't be on your screen if he wasn't, because you know that's part of the new era here at SOM, where we are now. We definitely have a certain level of talent that we want to keep here. And the following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from Shreveport, Louisiana, by way of Paris, weighing in at 185 pounds, the Mozart of professional wrestling, Gaston LaRue. Now, wait a minute. He said he's a Mozart, right? And his opponent, okay. hailing from Woodstock, Georgia, weighing in at 215 pounds, Logan Ragnarok. Logan Ragnarok versus Gaston. Well, here we go. Boy. We're back here. I mean, like you said, yeah. it's almost like the Twilight Zone. Bob, where do it we go? It is like the Twilight Zone. Because they have a saying in wrestling, you can't miss us unless we go away. That's exactly and it. I know you miss us because everybody's been dying for us to get back on this. So, I know. We went through, <laughs> uh, we went through a few people yeah. over here, uh, my nephew included, and... You know, I do hope that we do get my nephew back. I hope that he comes to and sees sense and comes back and does business because, you know, I, I enjoy being a ring announcer here. And I enjoy doing commentary, but my nephew, he's here for a reason. So I know you had your thoughts about oh, him as wow. well. Oh, uh, we, wow. We'll talk about that later, but let's check out. The action here in the ring, we got everything going on. Of course, the NWA has been a big buzzword here around SOM lately, have, 
has oh, that, Oh, my man. goodness. Wow. I cannot believe we are a territory. Well, you can't believe it. I can believe it. I always thought we were. The thing I, about S.O.M. I felt that way as well. We're here at our new home in Newport, Tennessee. If you haven't been to Newport, Tennessee, you need to get to Newport, Tennessee and check out, like you said, the new School of Morton in our new building, our new show. Logan Ragnarok off the ropes. Oh! Okay, there's the pow! Gaston goes Woo. nowhere with that one. He almost went into our pole right here very close to the... Who the is the pole? The pole or Ro Logan Ragnarok? Well, they do that little thing with the little flag. You know, what's it, the, the, the May flag dance? I have no idea what you're yeah, talking you about. Yeah, you do. The little flag and the pole. They go around and around. I've seen yeah. pole dancing, but not that kind. I, there's where your check went. Oh. Well, yeah. I mean, but we don't talk about that. Uh, but what we do talk about is somebody. You don't talk about it, but your ex wife's lawyer talks like about Gaston it. Like Gaston should know better than to try to do a test of strength with somebody like Logan Ragnarok. One of the strongest guys on the roster here at SOM. I mean, one of the newer guys here at SOM. Gaston but that doesn't mean he's not the strongest knee, here. And I don't care what kind of music he's trying to make in the ring. Oh. Outsmarts him. Up to the headlock. Gaston. Oh! Well, we've Roll watched over. the videos here. You know, he's been talking about what he's going to do here at SOM for the last couple weeks leading up to here. You know? He says that he makes music in the ring. And... I think I had him as a waiter last week <laughs> when I was on a cruise. <laughs> oh! Wait a minute. They don't want to be singing there in the middle of a right wrestling match. Out. What the hell's wrong with you? Logan Ragnarok not going to have any of it. I can see why Billy Corrigan likes this guy. <laughs> Holding him down, but not long enough. Hi, Hi Billy. Oh, Billy Corrigan Corrigan Corrigan. oh, just scratching him. Well, he is hitting some notes that we haven't heard in a while. That's for sure. That's it. He just got the rope. He just got the rope. He's getting them all tangled Forced up. Break. Put him in a pretzel. Wow. Yeah. Logan Ragnarok putting on a clinic in the middle of the ring there. Well, he definitely Gaston does have a lot saying of hair. That he's full. pulling his hair. But he also noticed that the School of Morton is also a museum. If you, I mean, it's it's a land, it's a place to come. If you are a wrestling fan or if you're a historian, and if you think you even know anything about wrestling, this is a destination for you. Well, definitely, look along this back wall. This back wall is nothing but signed pictures from everybody. Everybody has paid homage to Ricky Morton in some way as being one of the greatest tag team wrestlers to ever walk the earth. And not just Ricky Morton, but the School of Morton in general. I mean, just the whole thing that it is and all the people that it is. And Ricky Morton will be the first one to tell you School of Morton is a lot of people. It is a lot of people. There are a lot of behind the scenes that we can't even think enough Yo, for the yeah. people that have made the new School of Morton, the new Portatorium, into what it is, and oh, that is correct. Off. Let's check this out. This One, might be the two. end. Oh, almost. Just a two, Just count, a two count. Right on the action here. Gaston thinks it's three. Of course, you and I, we get to see a lot of the drama that happens behind the scenes, but now we get to be here for the people in the front. Kind of oh. letting you see how it's happening here. I know your cousin didn't work out. Well, you know, you give everybody a chance, right? We do. But we still don't know that it's not. You know, he's in heavy negotiations right now with the SOM staff. That's and right. And you know how that goes, getting all tangled up in the courts and all the lawyers and all that stuff. And before you know it, I mean, watch what you sign, folks, right? Oh, measuring him up. Oh, nasty knee. Now, that Guess might be on. why he is an NWA oh, prospect right walking there. Walking around. Sure. One, two, three, four. Five. Wow, you're a fast six. counter there, oh. Bob. Well, the thing about it is, I think all that other stuff was a rouge. I think it was all a joke. I think it was all just a kind of way to lure you in. 
You think so? I don't know. He's kind of singing now. You know, he's kind of making fun of him. You hear him now. It's mocking him. Logan Ragnarok is not the person I think I would make fun of. And that might be his mistake. Is that what you're implying? Of course it is. That's what they always do. That's what we love they, about wrestling, isn't it? It's a passion play. It's a real thing. Oh, it's here we go. Come on, folks. No. No. Not today, folks. Oh, here we go. Logan Ragnarok firing back off. As you like to say, he ain't taking it no more. Not taking it a bit. He can't stand it no oh, more. Oh, double axe handle. And the fans it's know it. They see it. Oh, oh, big spine buster. Is that it? One, it be? two, it almost. Is. Wait a minute. What's that two? What's that three? Just a two off of that That's nasty spine buster. That's how close it is buster. here. At the school of Morton, you never know what you're going to see or who you're going to see. I know that we got a big calendar coming up, Bob, and we got a lot of things coming on. We're going to talk things. about all of that as we oh, go yes. through tonight. And the thing is, folks, you can check us out. We got TV tapings all the time here at SOM. Oh, new place, new this faces. Looks bad. Fireman's carry. Guess oh. on wiggles out of it. Oh, shining wizard. One, two. And that is it. Oh. And that was a three. And the thing Gaston. is. Gaston. Wow. And he's out there. Snagging one from Logan Ragnarok. And gentlemen, here is and your he's out of there. And he Gaston. is out of there. Victory Victory lap. Lap. Watch out for the pole. He's almost knocked himself out twice. He did tell us. He definitely you know, told us. Bob, you're right. He says to him. Well, last time we were here, I got to be in the ring with, with Ricky Morton and the carrier of Morton. Now we get to hear from Mozart here. <laughs> Gaston LaRue, well, first of all, uh, welcome to SOM. Yeah. It seems nobody here likes you. I don't really give a damn whether they like me or not, because quite frankly, there's no one like me. No one walks like me, talks like me, wrestles like me. I agree. And you see, the fact of the matter is, is when I'm in that ring, I make art, I make music, and because there's no one like me, and there never, ever will be. So I, done, I did a little bit of research here while you were out. You actually work up in Ohio with NWA Exodus. So. Why come down here to Tennessee? Why come down here to Tennessee? Well, first off, Tennessee for a long time was the home of the NWA. But also, I want to prove to guys like Ricky Morton, guys like EC3, guys like Casey Kazana, guys like whoever is signed to the NWA, that I am the man, that I and the guy, and as I said before, there's no one like me. I wear a bow in my hair. I wear velvet tights. I am a charismatic enigma and a burning ball of fire. And I am the greatest professional wrestler on the face of this planet. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Gaston LaRue. All right. Professional wrestler on the planet. I like now, that. Something stuff. that uh, that I remembered that he told me earlier that he was uh, the nephew of former WCW star Lash Larue. Lash Larue. Okay. Do you okay. Remember that? Do you I remember do, Lash and LaRue? I remember yeah. Dustin Wilson. You know, he was the Cajun cook. You know, he would always say, "I guarantee." <laughs> Ooh, hot <laughs> doggy! I guarantee well. SOM gonna be good. Cause you know what? <laughs> the Cajun people like SOM too. Ricky Morton will tell you that when he was in Mid South, all those Cajun people in Louisiana they watch SOM. You well, got me going, dude. You folks stay right here with us. Keep watching SOM. We'll be right back. That is so in gusto. Oh, now there's a, oh, there, now that's hey, music yeah. to my ears. Music to your ears, not so much to mine. That's the golden turd. I mean, that's the, you got me even what saying that. What is he wearing? That's called a title. They wear those what? in wrestling. It's what? not a belt. You know, a belt what? holds your belt? hands up. What? Look, Newport, Tennessee, do yourselves a favor and keep your cousin kissing, chicken kissing, mouth shut. Evan Golden is here. Okay. 
You are in the presence of greatness, so do not boo me. Do not call me Goldilocks. Shut up. I will come out there. I will break you all in half and don't make me do it. He's going to tell you all about it. Now, I know all of you have noticed around this jacked body is a brand new title, and I know exactly what you're saying. Evan Golden, you lost the East Tennessee Championship to KC Kazan at Fright Night. Well, I'm here to tell you, that's not true, and that is what? not what happened. What? There was a screw job in Newport, what? and See? nobody okay, wants to talk about it. So since I did not lose the East Tennessee title fair and square, I made my own. Oh, I got to hear this. Stop laughing. <laughs> yeah, stop. It's not funny. You got to be kidding me. This is the real East Tennessee heavyweight championship. I'm the rightful title holder. And right now, you rednecks are in for a treat. I'm issuing an open challenge right here in the Morton Arena. So I invite anyone to come out here right now and challenge me for the real East Tennessee Heavyweight Championship so I can make an example out of them. Well, there you go, Bob. So that answered all your questions. You know, like you were right. I mean, I had to... Wait, wait, wait hold on a second. <laughs> oh. 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 This is some sort of mistake. Is that the walking dead guy? What you asked for, What's going sir? on here? Is that, is that the walking dead guy? That is... Walking Dead TKO. TKO, look, this is this is some sort of a mistake. I don't oh, know what you're doing out here. Yes. He told me I look like this can't happen. He told me I look like I was just joking that. about the open challenge. Oh yeah, yeah. Now you're joking. Now you're joking. TKO, I don't know if you know this or not, but this isn't some sort of casting call for The Walking Dead. You are in the presence of greatness. And if you think you're going to get your stardom back with Evan Golden, you're wrong. So I think you should get out of this ring right now and step off. Because I'm the real uh, champ. Put that away. You're in over your head. I don't know if he's breaking hey, through. Back hey, off. There will be no match. There will be no match. He's talking a lot. Scotty B, no match. What are you doing? This is a match yeah. you made a challenge for. Whatever piece of crap you made here. <laughs> Wait a minute, Scott. But it's going to happen. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from Asheville, North Carolina, weighing in at 210 pounds, the golden child, Evan Golden. And his opponent from the Savior's Compound, weighing in at 289 pounds, T-K-O. T-K-O, buddy. But he's making a big mistake. You don't ever turn your back on Evan Golden. Oh, you definitely Or any do Goldens. Not. You know, we talk about this all the time. The Kazan and the Golden stuff is not ever going to end. Ever. Oh. No. I was looking for the ring bell. Yeah, you're not that guy anymore. You got not that guy anymore. I know, but you see, that's good sometimes to change things up. You know, I was GM, and I've been GM, and for the last couple of months, we've been doing a lot of stuff, like I said, behind the scenes. I mean, there's... You're not, see there? There we go. Things happen, And away Bob. we go, yeah. boys. Hey, oh. wait a minute. You know who he was trained by, right? Who? Rip Rogers. Oh, wow. Yeah. And if anybody knows anything, that's a, he's amazing. It's good for him to even be alive. Have you ever, oh, have you ever Evan took, Evan Golden. You ever took your dad's nasty. tools, uh, the wrong tools to he your father? nasty bump straight on his forehead. TKO, oh, with a nasty DDT. That is nasty, and that might be the end of, Number one, two, whoa! Oh. That was two. Evan Golden. Evan Once again, Golden he needs to never set. turn his back on Evan. I don't ever want to take it away from him. Evan Golden is a tough competitor. Of course he, he is. is. Yeah. He always has. He to. comes from it's in his chains. <laughs> he gets on my nerves. So. But that is it. That he is a. Uh, he is great in that ring and. So tough. Bob. My God. Have you ever heard of critical thinking, Bob? 
No. Critical. I, I know you haven't. Because what it means is you got to take the emotions out of the equation when you're looking at something. Oh. So what if it gets on your nerves? And that hurts me. But that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to you. <laughs> but it matters to the Evan Golden right now. TKO running into the turnbuckle. Evan running, Golden. Running into a wall. Running into a wall. <laughs> Shit. Got him down to a knee, but only for a second. Running back over. Oh, wow. Big you see that four. elbow. Yeah, right in the face. It is over. Little and insurance just there. it in. Give it a little. Referee trying to pull him off. He referee better watch out. You know, he don't give a crap about hitting a referee in the face. He's got the, he's got the, the wow, you know, he's got the authority around here, but still, Evan can care less. Oh, here we go. Chipper dipper dipper dipper. Here we go. Uh, I think he heard it this too. This time, the afterburner did not happen. No. I mean, can he afterburner somebody this big? Well, first of all, he needs to quit like forecasting it. That's one of the problems with it lately. Oh, it's over. He's not the weather man. He quits giving oh. the weather. He gets the predictions. Oh, looky here. Oh, I think it is over. He's got him rolled up. Two, three. It's over with, folks. That's a Rip TKO. Rogers. Who is your winner? There you go, Rip. You happy? Where your dog actually did something with himself. <laughs> we love you, Rip. Thank you, buddy. There he is. I'm gonna get that. That, that like I'm losing it, but that's okay. I need to get it. Right, and I'm here to play. Crazy thoughts I running through to my head so fast, but in the end, I'm built to last. So tell me how you're feeling. That's right, Nick. Yeah, it's nasty, brother. Yeah, he's nagging all the time. He's like an ex-wife. Hey, look at that. Hey, he got a little extra haircut, and he got that that nice title. Hey. Got to hold that title now because you just want it. What are you going to do about it, Evan? Go back there and take it back from you. You'd love to see that, wouldn't you? Well, there we go. Maybe we can have a title on a pole match for this guy. That sounds like a good southern thing to do. Maybe we should get that thing and put it on a pole and put it up there in the new ceiling. Well, Look at that ceiling. Look how high it goes, in Bob. In these new ceilings, we can do 22 bigger foot and better ceilings. Things. Woo! Bigger and better. That's the way we're going here in the new portatorium. And, and Hunter can still touch the damn roof. It's, yeah. It's 22 feet tall. One of these days, That's we'll have crazy. a place big enough for Hunter Wolf. But uh, one of these days. So, right now, we've still got a whole lot for you tonight. Oh, oh yeah. Ryan Manis and get him Kilgore coming up right after this. Come on in. Am I at the wrong building? Come on. No, no, it's the best wrestling school. Yeah, we're going. It's the best wrestling school in the world. You remember him, don't you? I don't remember him. You don't? No, no. <laughs> That's some sarcasm. That's some sarcasm there. Oh. <laughs> wow, this is incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, this is awesome. you been on the No, you were. I taught him the road. see you. Hi, I'm teaching what to do around here. I taught him how to do the afterburner. Hi, How are you? Your dad's here. Have you seen this before? Uh, I just saw it. Oh my God. I saw it. Here's Donnie Ron. You were Donnie Ron Bass in yeah. Memphis? Yeah. Don Bass right there. Look at that. That's when they were young. Man. Yeah. They're both dead. All three of them are dead. Huh? Look at that little one. <laughs> that right there is signed by Bobby and yeah, Buddy Bobby. Landell. Wow. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I love it. I didn't know you had all this cool stuff. 
It's Brandon and Blade. Hey guys. Absolutely. Ricky did where we started now. Holy crap. I just can't. face I want to witness you see I am not just TKO everybody knows I am Savior TKO Savior I will TKO, come yes sir. and I can make your life absolutely this man has been as crazy as they come just walking into the door. If I like calling somebody to match, it's probably Ryan Bandit, because I only tell him he's going to do the same thing. See, the funny thing is, I would spin out here. I'm telling him right now. What's up? I would spin out here. This is amazing. I would go over there. I would go over here. I personally hate all I do not do that. But what sent me out here for that? The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from parts unheard of, weighing in at 190 pounds, accompanied to the ring by Envy and Commodore Legion. Get him! Kilgore! You want to know what and his, his opponent Kilgore. from the realm of that Midgard, in weighing in at 245 pounds, Ryan Mantis! The rogue heathen, Ryan Mantis. So, he's a heathen. And he if you take a heathen, a heathen, and you take the history of a heathen, what does a heathen do? People think heathens are street thugs, and they're not. Heathens are taking to help the ones in need from the ones who don't need it. That Absolutely. is the art of a heathen. 
Absolutely, and uh, you have a history of helping a lot of people in need. Yes. Tell me more about that. I do fighting for autism, and we do autism acceptance and awareness. And if you get the chance, please check it out. Support everybody. Everybody fights a battle. Whether it be special needs, whether it be mental, whether it be any kind of personal thing, help one another. Remember, Absolutely. your smile can change their world. 100%. You can be the next TKO and be somebody's savior. Absolutely. And we definitely support that here at SOM. Mantis right there going in. Oh. He's got him in deep on that go, but a quick reverse on that deep go behind. And straight down on his face. But get him killed, Gore. Great ring awareness there. But you notice Mantis. The awareness and the instinct of that Viking-like heathen to give him that little pat on the back. That love tap before he lets go. Yep. Oh, he's saying he's got, he's got a receipt. Oh. Got him in a trying for a sleeper hold. Doesn't get it. Elbows all over the place. That is the point Kilgore. of an elbow into the tip of the skull. Now it's into the back of the skull. Oh, it just rakes the eyes with the knee pad. If you've ever had razor burn, that's ten times worse. Oh, I would say that's nasty. Ooh. Big clothesline. Got him in that camel clutch. I think Kilgore's head just caught up with his body after that clothesline right now. Well, the rogue heathen has firm control of this match. Get him, Kilgore still hasn't seemed to get any sort of any sort of hand up in this match. And right back down onto his back. Oh, get him, Kilgore, putting him in a head scissor. He's got it locked in deep. Oh, <laughs> oh he's got his shoulders down. Right back up, Ryan Manis on him like a dog. And Kilgore! See, that's what I'm talking about, where he has love inside of him. He let that kindness distract him for a millisecond. That little bit of kindness distracted him for a millisecond, and Kilgore took advantage of it, and that's why we have the change. Well, was it so much kindness as what it was just making the mistake of turning your back on somebody like Get'em Kilgore? That's a good point, too. Get'em Kilgore is not the person that you need to turn, uh, turn your back on. Oh, could we be counting it off? Could be. Here we go. Oh, oh Commodore oh, Legion. What is Ryan Manis he, has got a hold of him. This isn't a good look. Oh. oh, big kick to the head. Not just the head, the side of the head. That can bust an Leg eardrum. Drop. And if you've never had a busted eardrum, your ears are ringing, your vision is gone. Got him, one, two. Oh, what a kick out. Ooh, buddy. That was too close for comfort. You're not gonna get Mantis down that easy. Absolutely too close for comfort here, TKO. I think his bell is rung though. Get him killed, Gore. Finally got control of this match. Somebody We've might seen need to great check things on Mantis. From get him killed, Gore. And here we go. Seeing that power play there. That's what happens with the strength in numbers. Mantis not giving up easy, but somebody might need to take a look at him. So after that boot, you can see he's still trying to gain his composure ever since that boot to the side of the head. He does seem to be rocking and reeling, but he's rocking and rolling now. Pulling Commodore Legion in. What has he got in mind? And gets kicked right in the face by get him Kilgore. Super kick, rolls in, double axe handle to the back of the head. 
I'm telling you, they need to take time. The ref needs to check him. As you saw on that dive, he didn't have it because he's not seen straight after that kick to the head. Get him, Kilgore, saying it's over with. Oh, ho, ho, ho. rolling into the corner, pulls him out, going for the cover. Ryan Manis rolls out and it rolls He's right up. It. He's fighting Look through it. Look at the power. power. My God. Where is this open? Oh, Big right back elbows to the head. from Get him Kilgore, but that was strength personified right there, TK. I think that might have been all he had left, though. To the head again. But that's not so. Oh, see? That's Wait not somebody what you headbutt. That's the. See? That's not somebody you headbutt. What's happening here? Oh, what, what's happening here? Cliff. Oh, yeah. Get him, Kilgore's in trouble. That's what's happening here. Oh, Falcon Arrow. Here he goes, setting him up. Big splash into the corner. Oh. Talk about the road. That city Still on a trip. Twirl. Lariat. Looks like he's calling for that choke slam. Going to take him to the you halls know what I of think it is? I think it was that last shot to the head that just knocked the sense out of him that needed he's in got him. Commodore Legion trying to distract him and does. Don't do it, man. Don't, don't, don't. Just don't, do don't. it. Pay attention. Oh. Uh, no, now no, he's no. got a hold of Commodore Legion. Don't pay attention to Commodore Legion. Wait a oh, second. there we go. Get him, Kilgore, taking out Commodore Legion. And now Ryan Menace. Oh, my gosh. Huge choke slam. One, it's two, three. It's over with. It's over with. It's it's over with. It's Maybe I saw exactly what I was looking I'm looking at you to realize. Oh, I, but, what do you mean? Now, now you're on? seeing. The strength in numbers, What's TKO. What's going on here? This no. is what happens every time. No. This isn't right. He no, just, the man just, it's not. The man just, the same as I just beat Evan Golden, he just beat him. But they can't take no. it, TKO. They can't take the loss. They are they're going not to do stand this. there and, yes, they are. They're no. going to stand there and they're going to beat the hell out of him. No, no, they're not. Don't, no. And I, that's, I'm not watching God, this anymore. I'm not watching wizard. this. This is, this is beyond a little crazy. Oh. I'm not watching this. I'm not TKO. Oh, TKO's on his way to the ring. Oh, yeah, buddy. Oh. Ooh, chases him off you like a pack of dogs. Never know what's going to happen at SOM. No, you're not. AMC's finest right there, right? <laughs> right. That's it. TKO jumping back up in the ring hey, folks, to look. help out Ryan Manis. He said he will not stand for this. Ryan Manis, he's squaring off with him. I don't think he knows that he just, he just got a little hand up against Commodore Legion and get him Kilgore. TKO. The savior of SOM right there. Yeah, buddy. Look at that, Malik. That is two people that I either still want to see them together or I want to see them going against each other. Hey, you know one what? Or the other. Sometimes that's the best way to do business. I'll take either of the three right there. Oh, ho, ho, ho. what does that mean, Malik? What does that mean, Malik? That means the next time, my friend. Yes, sir. New era, new time, new world. We talk about this all the time. It's a new world. It is a new world. It's a new SOM. But we're here every uh -huh. week, every Sunday, 505, just like every week. And uh, we will be right back. Oh, yeah. By the book, by the book. 
down the book. If you find yourself doing wrong, you won't get off the hook. By the book, by the book. If you think so, I'm just your man, then brother, you're mistook. Some boys like their cold water, some boys like their chew. I can tell you that's not what those Cassandra boys will do. I'm going to stop right here. How we doing in our new port? I, I don't know. I don't know what Evan Golden has to think that he's the East Tennessee heavyweight champion. But obviously, I pinned him. How you doing, baby? I hit him with the clothesline, the lightning line, Bobby. And I am your new East Tennessee heavyweight champion. So we're gonna do things a little differently out here. SOM's in a new era. I want to be a fighting champion. So starting today. The KC Kazana Open Challenge for the East Tennessee Heavyweight Championship will start today. As a matter of fact, go ahead and get a referee out here because the KC Open Challenge officially starts now. Oh, buddy. The KC Open Challenge. All right, well, that didn't Who take is going to come out and take up that one? Who's Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is for the East Tennessee Heavyweight Championship. Let's see if there's a challenge. Of course there's going to be a challenge. I mean, who would not take up that challenge? I mean, hell, but the question is, is who is going to take up that challenge against somebody that has been on fire like Casey Smith? Well, hey, the way the world keeps going, like, I wouldn't take the challenge. Oh, hey, looky here, here Paul Huberman, baby. Okay. Talk to us, Bob. I know and you guys were back here talking. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the challenger from Edinburgh, Scotland, weighing at 190 pounds, accompanied in the ring by Shauna Reed. The essential Paul Hubris. Paul Hubris. And his opponent, he is one half of the NWA United States Tag Team Champions and your current reigning East Tennessee Heavyweight Champion, White Lightning, Casey Kazana. Yes, I did get a chance to talk to him and Sean Reed back in the back earlier. Both of them trained by Dustin Rhodes, somebody you're familiar with. That's right. So that was yeah. you're talking about the, the Nightmare Factory. So, okay. The, well, the thing about Dustin Rhodes is, well, he's just like his father. I know. I mean, you don't just like you don't pass that knowledge on to just everybody. And, right. And let's talk about that as as we will. We got Kazana. He's also got some of that that kind of Illuminati Masonic kind of wrestling knowledge that that only can get from being a generational wrestler. So we'll see how this pays off. Absolutely. Kazan is also a D1 uh, athlete too. I mean, when we talk to football, I mean, he actually didn't know if he wanted to be a wrestler. I mean, I've known this kid for a long time. Well, I knew him when he just wore football stuff. That's it. He's just going to be a football player, play for UT, and that was it. Be, be and play for the Titans and be a football player. In and here the past we are. Year, this kid has become one of the best athletes in the country. Not only the country, but I mean, right now his brother has gone international. I mean, we have international flair here at SOM, but right now my buddy and, and his brother is over in the the old kingdom right now. Yes, he is eating some fish and chips, and we're not about talking AJ. about down the road here. Of course, over in the NWA, they are the country gentlemen, led by their father, Joe Kazana. That's right. And that is another NWA territory that's out there. There's a couple of them. I mean, you know, it's kind of like, we, I talk to you all the time, Bob, about the mafia. We hate to say it like that, but sometimes, you know, we got all these little territories and fiefdoms all over the place and little, well, Little things like this. When you see the Goldens and you see the Kazanas and they kind of run into each other, that's not a new thing. Well, now we are officially part of the game. That's right. We were before, but we are official now. 
And yeah. you loved it when Kerry Morton got his head ripped off by your buddy. Hey, I, I can't help it. Down know. there at the Juggalos, you know what, everybody, if you haven't seen it, check it out. Our own Kerry Morton got his head ripped off by that old Bradshaw. Jeez. Ooh, it, it was pretty nasty. And, uh, and that's something that I've uh, seen a lot from uh, Casey Kazana. He's got that smash mouth style like Bradshaw had. Of course, he, yeah, he does. And over the last year, he has just stepped it up so much and he's learned so much. Now, what else did you learn about his opponent here tonight? I know that he's come from over the seas over there where they had the Loch Ness Monster over in, in Scotland. Well, Paul was actually trained by Drew McIntyre. Oh, wow. Uh, and then Shauna, she's been on WWE, Impact, OPW. Uh, she's kind of been all over the place. And these guys are very well rounded and ready to go. 20 years experience between the two of them. Awesome. I'm so glad you did the homework here tonight, Bob, because, man, I tell you what, you know this as well as I do. Being here at SOM, there's a lot of things that are going on. There is a lot of things going on. There's always a lot of new faces, and we welcome that. You know, you want some, come get some. That's well, the, all eyes are on us, that, and that is true. All eyes are on us right now. Going for the pin, two, almost. Now we still got a lot of things going this on here tonight. This young man from Edinburgh giving him a uh, little bit of a run for his money, but. Well, it's an open challenge. He didn't oh, know who, who was gonna. Irene distracting KC. Paul, oh, European uppercut into the corner. Rolls him over. Big kick to the back. And you see, that's the thing about Kazana that he talked about this, about the open challenge. One. Is he's on he's on display all the time, so anybody can do their homework and watch him and, and, and kind of know what he does. But he has no clue sometimes about who his opponent might be. And that's exactly what happened tonight. He actually manifested that tonight. Well, he's not scared to take on all comers. No. And... Uh, that's one thing that, uh, oh, look here. Wow. Out of nowhere with a huge clothesline. And a close two count once again. Getting a little bit of his own medicine right there because, you know, KC even talking about it, ready to nail that lightning lariat. And he's by himself tonight. I mean, we really haven't talked too much about the number game here tonight, but, you know, that used to be in the cards for Kazan, and we haven't talked about that either. You know, he's kind of by himself now. I mean, yeah, he's got his brother and his father, but as far as that goes, that's all he's got. Yeah, and uh, those wow, guys see? here, and look. I, I manifested Lee. that. Wow. Yeah, you manifested that one right there, Malik. But it was so only a time. Lee before the number Paying games the happen. Bills. And now, you've noticed Paul that Hughes, a long time ago. He has got control of the match. Just toying with Casey Kazana, that's not a smart way to go. I mean, you talk about people- That's twice. Doing, uh, and there you go, numbers game. But you talk about people and the advantages of being able to see Casey Kazana every week and being able to watch him every That's week right. and then coming in here and not doing their homework against him. That is true, because sometimes that all goes out the window. You know, everybody thinks they got it all planned out, right? But it's as his name states it, hubris. <laughs> you liked that, didn't you? I did like that. Yeah. Paul Hubris. Oh, pop, pop, my God. And just like that, the tide changes. First one to their feet has control. Shana Reed yelling. 
What a great night for us to be here at SOM. And who would have thought that we'd be back? <laughs> oh, here he goes. He's lighting it up. Big body slam. He's feeling it, Malik. He is feeling it. And I don't think he's going to waste time. I think he's ready to take, take it to the house. I think he's ready to finish up. There you go, oh, that's that old cowboy nowhere. move there. Cowboy do cowboy things. One, two. And oh. that's well just a two count, but like I said, cowboys do cowboy things. That was close. We always talk with Joe Kazan about how he's a Greek cowboy. You don't see too many Greek cowboys. <laughs> but here we are. It's 2024, right? That's and the Kazanas have a long history of wrestling in in not only East Tennessee, but Knoxville in particular. Yes. And that is still going to this day. Laying the boots in. Backing it up, ready to go at him again. Floats him over. Oh, that was nothing fancy about Wait, that, was that, Bob? Fancy. Just a punch to the skull. Now, wait a minute. Oh, getting ready to fly. Gets grounded. Well, she's got her chin. knee. Now you Pulls said him over. Oh, oh my gosh, what was that, Malik? That was something that Alistair Crowley could have pulled out of the, the Loch Ness over there. Well, he pulled it out of the woodwork, too. Oh, only a two count. Because it was evil, that was for sure. He took just too much time on that one, Malik. Goes for the cover again. And still, just another two. He's going to have to try something else here. They're both. They're both getting frustrated here. You can see the frustration on their faces. Both of them. Love the camera work here at SOM. Don't you, Bob? We do. I love this new building. Everything. Same like vibe, different place. Again. He's going to go for it in the middle of the ring. He does it. Oh. Was that a tooth? Looked like it. Wow. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, that's bad. Oh. oh. Lightning lariat out of nowhere, baby. One, two. Over with. Bradshaw ain't got nothing on that, dude. Here's your winner. And still, he hits the White Lightning. We've still got a lot coming up for you folks. This is we do. a big night. And, remember, and this is Scott's show too. Wait till we, wait till we have my show later. Oh, I cannot wait. Uh, we've still got <laughs> that big Sam Street. Oh yeah. And Dara it's Matt. been building, hasn't it? It has been. And, and the ladies have like a, uh, well, let's just say it's it's extra and it's special and it's. They are, Let's say less about it. They are not very happy with each other right now and. We're going to see a lot from them tonight. They are in the main event. Good. And uh, we'll be right back, folks. Hey, there's your buddy. Well, he really is my buddy. I was being sarcastic for you, but he really has got a long history of crossing. All right. All right, we've talked about this. This guy is No little flowers here, no little hats, no little, little, what do you call those little hats that break in our Fedora. This contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Wuhan, China, weighing in at 167 pounds, the Yellow Jacket. 
That sounds mysterious. And his opponent, a, a company to the ring sounds like a by Daro Conley, Devon Belcher, and Bronson Garrett from the Empire State, weighing in at 245 pounds, Jamin Myra. There you go. What a specimen. Myra. My God, look at this man. What a specimen. He's got muscles where people don't have muscles. Right. She is standing up. She's just really short, Bronson. Anyway, Bell has on with the vertically challenge. That's right. Um, you got your EpiPen with you? Oh, good. wow. Uh, well, I don't think that that stings anything. Maybe he's not when allergic to, to yellow Myra. Oh, misses him again. Oh, well, he did not miss that. He caught cool. him there. Up right. on his shoulder. This is this not is bad news. Oh, nah. big power slam. Not looking promising for the, did you say the yellow, yellow jacket. jacket? Okay. Yellow jacket. Uh, see. Well, he's got ASIC shoes on. I thought he might have been from somewhere like Minnesota or Michigan or somewhere, but I don't know. Well, I think that uh, Yellow say, Jacket is get, uh, is about to get squashed. And little to no effect whatsoever. Whoa, oh, whoa, 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 no bison. That's like a Cobra clutch there, and he's got that thing wrenched in. Wow. Oh. Hit the carotid artery there, cutting it off. He's out. And he's going to have to call this. He's already yellow out. Jacket's out. He's already yellow out, Jacket's ref. out. What the hell, ref? ref? Call that. Shit. He's Somebody out. Somebody needs to break him up. He's done. Two, three. It's over. I mean, with. Like, like, don't look at us. We don't even have the damn bell. Who is your winner as a result of a submission? Hey, I'm excited Jay about this. Because guess what? We got the powerhouse here at SOM. Well, Sam Street wants to mess with these guys. Two. of this company and this business. Okay. I have acquired the three baddest athletes on the face of the planet. And from what I heard, we had some friends from the UK in the back. My personal friend, Ricky Hatton, told me that this was the baddest man walking God's green earth. Hey, shut your mouth and listen to me. Like I said before, keep sleeping. What just happened tonight is only the beginning. You want to keep looking past me and overlooking me? I'm going to put your ass to sleep. Say good. Say good. Oh, say good. And just like that, you can ask my friends in the back from the UK, just like the Gooners are the top football team in all the world. Bronson Garrett Enterprises is the top team in all of professional wrestling. And we have a 100% closing rate in ass whippings. And they're about to continue being handed out. I am excited. Hit the music, Scotty B. That's right. Tell them what to do. Tell them what to do. So in, those guys I'm just here, but in wrestling, period. in wrestling, period. period. And 
being led by somebody like Bronson Garrett. I mean, I know time. that. Uh, it's time. I know that you you are big fan, big fan, big and, fan, uh, and my intuition is just really like on point, and it was on point before you and I talked about that before. Because well, there were some people that are around here that are no longer. We'll talk around about here them anymore. Here in just a second, mm -hmm. we'll be right back, folks. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Bobby Lee, and I am here with Zero and Amp Dominic. The God of the Milky Way Galaxy, Amp Dominic. Come on, Bobby Lee. I thought I taught you better than this. I'm sorry. Would you like me to do that again? Come on again. Come on. The God of the Milky Way Galaxy, Amp Dominic. See? Did that feel better down there? The yeah. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Ah. Uh, so, last time we saw you. Last time you saw Let's don't talk. Let's talk about. Hey. The bomb Belcher and your little old lady friend Bronson. I got a taste of the Milky Way. I'm about to start donating it out like I don't know what. I'm giving a little taste out to everybody, even people in the crowd. And I'm coming for you, Devon. Because one thing about me, the universe made me cooler than a polar bear's toenails. Oh, yeah. Slicker than snail's vagina. Oh, yeah. And I am capable, yes, capable, of holding humans down and torturing their insides. Like a god. And you, and you, and you are welcome. Like a god. Like a god. been told and now another chapter unfolds. Dara O'Conley. Making friends everywhere he goes. Bronson Garrett, I'm surprised he hadn't asked for the uh, for the microphone yet. And the night's not over. Well, it's not over. And, uh, well, there he goes again. Well, this is Scott show with Scott Elliott. And actually, the one that sets this all up, is he not? He is. And so far, it's been a pretty damn good show. And uh, here we go. Starting off this main event. Sam Street, Dara O'Connor. Well, we thought they were going to throw hands earlier, but they did not. That's how we got here. You're right. Now we got to the main event. The following contest is your main event. Introducing first, out of Chicago, Illinois, accompanied to the ring by Bronson Garrett, Dara O'Conley. Well, they seem to be. And her here. opponent from Star City, Sam Street. There we go. Well, Sam is kind of by herself, but you know what? Bronson is not. I mean, he just didn't bring the whole crew out here. Well, he brought them all out here earlier. Let's go, Sam. And we are beginning. Our main event, Daro Conley and Sam Street locking up. She's got a handful of hair. Oh. That's right. There you Double go. Double slap to the chest, waking Sam Street up. Well, maybe she needs to be tested around here. I mean, she's been thinking she's the queen bee around here anyway. Sam Street has been one of our our most consistent women's wrestlers in a long time. But she also hasn't been challenged either, Bob. 
because she doesn't have any consistent competitors here at SON. We both know that. She doesn't have anybody consistent, but the people that she has taken on, you cannot say that she has not been challenged. I mean, she just won a battle royal against a bunch of guys. Well, that's good because maybe she's starting to smarten up because the last time we were here at SOM, she was around a bunch of people, <coughs> and uh, maybe sometimes she's guilty by association. She's by herself now. That might be a good thing for her. It could be a good thing for her. Because the but industry changes all the time. You know that, right? <laughs> the industry does change all the time. Yeah. We'll just leave it at that. But like I said, he has a lot more muscle with his little niche and his little group that he hasn't brought out here. I don't think he needs to. Because little Darla can carry She can do it. I believe So her. tell me more about uh, Daro Conley. I know that, uh, well, she comes from that from she's a, not a new face for here. No, she's not. She comes from from a very, very, let's just say, eccentric family between her father and her brother and herself. Her brother's an accomplished wrestler himself. They were the O'Conley kids. Oh, wow. Here at SOM, which was, wow, what a, what a crazy bunch of kids there were. And their father was here at SOM. Very influential at SOM. So, like you said, nothing new under the sun at SOM. Bronson is not new here at SOM. I remember showing you footage from 10 years ago, and you were like, "That's wait a minute, that's Bronson. Yeah, it took a little while to even figure that one out. Yes. Going for the big bulldog. Yes, there we go. And like Lancer you said, right in the middle of the ring, but taking too much time. Underestimating Sam Street and the toughness of Sam Street. Maybe, but she's also not a wasted motion. She doesn't like to waste motion. You'll notice that. Watch her as she works. Oh, <laughs> <Case of laughs> out of nowhere. You would love that. The Chicago sideways. Woo. Woo -hoo. These are street kids. I'm telling you, you would love them. These kids have been in the streets. They were raised in RVs across the country. You know, I mean, these kids know the streets. Don't let the little smile well, like, confuse you. Don't get twisted on it. That one came out of a back alley somewhere. That was a back alley drop kick is what that one was. Like I said, you could take some kids out of the street, but you can't take the street out of the kids. You know what I mean? Well, <laughs> definitely it. trying to take the street out right now. <laughs> that was totally puns intended through that whole thing. Going for the cover, only a two. Daro Conley. Like you said, new building, new era, up. new faces, new places. And let's see what we can get. Only Woo. a two count. Now she's getting frustrated. Oh, she's I getting can see frustrated. it now. Yeah, she's trying to be you cool. You can't get frustrated against Sam Street. It's not pressure. It's not stress. It's just she what it is. come out of nowhere on you. That's right. Get back Sam into Street, it. Sam Street, one of the reasons that everybody keeps picking up Sam Street is because she's so tough. She is tough. She is resilient. We give her that. You have to be to be here at SOM. Woo, yeah. And maybe that's where and she messed up. Is maybe for, she forgot about that for a minute. And I'm starting to cost her here. But this isn't a four-corner match. I mean, no, it's not a four-corner match. But if so, it would be, oh, almost over with. Darrow Conley stopping her. Bam, there it was, Malik. Well, if this had been a four-corner match, that would have been the end of it. Four street corners. That's right, but this is the new era, new, new world, new dimension. <laughs> ah! Flipping her over. Well, she did. Ah, jeez. Oh, a shotgun in the Double back. drop kick to the back. Oh, Only so a close. two count. Daro Conley. So very, close. very, very tough. Very now tough. Now you to see more about this O'Conley kid. I know you tried I to talk to her to earlier. She more. wouldn't talk to you, did she? No, she wouldn't talk to me at all. And Bronson didn't, didn't even want nothing I mean, to do with her. Hey, there you go. Loose as press. I but, can call it like it is. There you go. Then with uh, Javon Myra standing beside her, I didn't want to say too much, you know? And that's uh, that's part of the, the, the mystique of what Bronson yeah. is building here. Kind of like a Gary Hart back in the days in world-class championship wrestling. We've had many conversations. 
Oh, the brain's behind just, the brain. Now it's just a cat fight, Malik. Now it's just going out of the ring. Now ref is going to have to figure this something is just out a cat. Here. This is broken into a cat fight now. And it's kind of off of our monitor Pulling here. Hair, we can slapping. see it ourselves. Yeah, it is buddy. off the monitor. Back to the monitor now. There we go. Good camera shot. Back to where we're at. Well, I just, I really, I think we just lost uh, something there. Hit her so hard it knocked the camera out. Kicking away. Never know what's going to happen here at the, at SOM. Oh, and here they go. The, well, the fists are just flying now. I'm telling you, this broke down a long time ago. This is just a cat fight now. But that's not, it's becoming less so and less is, of a wrestling gonna match. Somebody's going to have to stop this. This is not, this is not a wrestling ref, match I mean, anymore. Okay. The ref's going to have to stop this right yeah, now. We knew we might see the rest. Well, now, wait a minute. What's, what's Kazan yeah, doing out here? Yeah, the ref stopped it. Coming in to break up Shriek. Looks like that has well, to be well, a they're breaking up both of them. Now, Bronson, I mean, he cannot be happy about what just went down. And what's Kazan oh, sticking his? Here. What's he sticking his nose in this business for? I mean, stay in your own lane there, Kazan. Well, that's. Uh, See, I knew this was going to happen. That's a big lane for both yeah, of Yeah, and these guys people. have been staring each other down for weeks. We both know this since they both saw each other. That's uh, the first day folks, that this building opened. Folks, we got to go. The first day we it opened. We got to go. It's not got any better. I don't think it's we going gotta to. We got to go, Malik. I'm well, sorry. Well, I mean, whatever. It's not going to get any better. 